Right again, hey, number hey, one yeah. playing number two yeah. in the LJS TV Power Ranking. Yeah. So we was right again. Hey. Nah, that's I'm what we're saying. I'm glad you said it because I, I was tired. You've been of saying it all day. I got you back. I bro. was tired of saying it, bro. LJ TV, how y'all feeling now, then, man? We back for another edition, top five championship preview show, man. That's we talking happened. about the number one versus number two team, D1 division. They've been ranked all year. Seems like in the top five. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna dive right in, coach. I'm looking at a team that I really like on this paper right here, Coach. I'm looking at two teams. Okay, okay. Similar. Yeah, I'm looking I'm looking at a team that I, I've been slick side jumping for all year, so to speak. I really like the normal Wildcats, and Coach. I'm going to say it again. I love them to do. I know you do. That's what I know you do. And they've been ranked number one, I think, five out of the seven weeks. No, we no, no. They only rank was number one like the last two weeks. Last two weeks, okay. Talk about it. They knocked off a uh, Hall McHugh team. Right. Like McHugh was one. I, I remember think they that. Was four at the time. I remember that. And then, uh, and that kind of catapulted them up. Yeah. And then during that same week, you had Pontchartrain on the other side playing Willie Hall and okay. Samson, who was two and three. Right. So that nine and ten uh, bracket had changed pretty much the whole year. So this nine and ten bracket, I'm not gonna lie, this is some of the best talent in the city. This the best. Some of the best talent in the city. For the this the division, division, yes, yes, I'm not gonna they lie. They got twelve of them. Twelve coming. coming. Twelve of them. When it is again? November 29th. When is that? Charbonne Hall, 16, 15, St. Phillips. Okay, I do, I do a chicken with you. I do That's a chicken with you on that. And, and I heard you have a raffle. We have a raffle or something going on for the tickets. They got a raffle going on at the championship game Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the show is real limited and real exclusive. Right. So we have a limited amount of tickets that can be sold. But for all our fans out there, you can buy a raffle for $1. One dollar. And when you're a ticket, and that's gonna be the raffle gonna be held at the championship game. At the game championship game, right? we're gonna raffle them off halftime of every game. Okay. So that's five tickets five in the raffle. Right, right. You know right, what I right. mean? So it's worth it, bro, because it's gonna be one of the best shows in the city. You've been working hard on it, coach. Oh, you and man. I will see a full Calvin Ford been working extremely hard. Oh, Shout out to Calvin Ford for making it happen for us, man. My really man, that's it. my man, 50 grand. No doubt about that's that. I respect man. him, I love him too. Cool, so let's dive right back into this game though. Ooh. Let's dive right back into this game. We're talking about number one versus number two, the normal Wildcats versus the Ponch Train Pages. Coach, let's be totally honest about this game right here. It should be easy to call. It should be easy to call, Coach, because you're talking about a normal team that's that's looking like they should be playing on 11 to 12-year-old level. You know what I'm saying? The punch train team is stacked. They, they, all, they undefeated as well, right? Right. So you're looking at... No, two. no, no, no. They lost one. They lost they one. They lost one early in the beginning of the year to, I want to say, my QB. beat them. Okay. Early in the beginning a of the year. A tough McHugh team. A tough McHugh team. Number one ranked defense we, 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 we didn't have the Rangers at the time. Okay. When they lost their game. I want to say McHugh. I'm, I'm more than sure. I know we give facts. Yeah. So I don't want. I don't want to be put out there. Players mess up too. Fact. Yeah, yeah. Players mess up too. Players mess up. But too. I won't say McHugh. Okay. But okay. Uh, it's a Coach. Middle game. Coach Norman versus Pontchartrain. You're talking about a normal team that spreads the ball around. They have a great quarterback in Key Jones Jr. They have a Tyrone Duplessis nominee award um, at running back. Um, Tyrone Wilson Jr. And I think he's up for MVP as well, right? So you're talking about a, a stack team, Matthias Lee, um, Kobe Coleman, um, Jethro Moses. Jethro Moses. Oh, man, one of the best defensive ends I've seen in 19 year old division. Probably ever. Alpha. Yeah. Alpha. I, Jethro really, Moses, yeah. man, the third. The third, the yeah, third. yeah, yeah. Jethro Big Jethro Moses, the third. He, he goes real hard. And like I said, that normal team is tough to go against, but you're talking about a punch chain team. That's disciplined and real stack and, and hungry, feeling disrespected. Feeling disrespected because they say, why are we never got to be number one? Because they started with a loss. Let me say this about the Poncho Train team. Talk about it. I'm not going to church. Okay. Because the Christian brothers are going to be at the game. Oh, okay. Okay, right? okay, the Christian I, brothers. I, mean, I like that. I like that. Right? I like that. The Christian so, uh, brothers. But now, like but these two little dudes mm -hmm. are phenomenal. Okay. On both sides of the ball. Right, right. On both sides of the ball. Right. So then they got Big V. Okay. So these, it's a mirror game. These teams look identical. 
So the Christian brothers both play on offense? They play every, that's Ponte Train. You know, yeah. everybody play everywhere at Ponte Train. Yeah, I forgot. They I'm just, bad. they breed these little dudes. That's true. That's true. That's true. They do. They definitely do do that. And like I said, to, to look at a normal team and to see them lose against anybody going up right now because they just been smoking hot the last five weeks, man. I mean, to pick against them and say Norman is not going to win the game, it's almost, you know, it's like what, what you've been looking at. But you're talking about a Ponte Train program and, I think what we're talking about is this. What are we talking we're talking about? We're talking about a championship game. Okay. So at the end of the day, mm-hmm. somebody has to win it somebody. and somebody has to lose it. What I was saying last week over the mic, either go home with it or go home without it. That, 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 at the end of the day, that's yeah. what's happening. That's, what that's what's happening. And now Noah got the rings and things. Oh, man. See, the rings and things make this game. It, it changes the, 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 everything. It changes the dynamics of it completely. Everything. Yes, sir. Completely. Because you're talking about going home with something. I mean, it's different to go home with the trophy. We go out to eat. And all that's the cool. Everybody get a trophy. trophy. You mean yeah. everybody get a little, yeah. You're talking about a ring. Bling, bling. You're talking about something you can keep forever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So this definitely does mean something. Shout out to Noah, sponsored by Chevron, helping out with the championship games, man. I appreciate that's you falling up and making that happen, man. Chevron and Noah, man. I appreciate that. But Coach, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to talk some football. I'm ready to get into my picks. Oh, you want to go first. Well, I've been going first lately. Do you want to go first or you just want to keep it that way? Our system works. It does work. It does work. Right? I like that. Work. I like when you take the lead on things. But we got a good system around here. Coach, I'm going to go first, and I'm going to say this before I get into my pitch. You talk, like I said, I'm going to say it again. You're talking about a normal team that's great. They are great. They are great. I mean, what they can't do. They go four wide receiver spread. They switch the quarterback up every now and then. Matthias leads back. That's what I was saying earlier when I put the three fingers up. Okay. We talked about the quarterback. They right. got like three dudes that can play yeah. the quarterback. Yeah, they put that wrong and back. Let me say thing. this. I've been wanting to say this since the beginning. I love what Norman did and mm-hmm. where he come from. Right. Norman was a Division II team yeah. last year. Yeah. Norman making noise now. Yeah. Like, they're not the same small Norman. ball yeah. Norman. So yeah. I look yeah. at Norman as they represent all the little parks in the city. Come on. I look at Ponte Train, they represent all the big parks Come in the on. city. So this is my David and Goliath wow. game right here. You've been, too much I like that. You've I've been, been working. working. Yeah, I've been working, You've been, working, <laughs> you been in the lab on me or something? I'm slick. Okay, I'm going to respect slick. that. I'm going to respect that. You a warner. Yeah, I know. You a warner. I know. You a warner. But at the end of the day, Coach, I'm ready. That's roll. I'm ready. You want to give me a drum roll? Can give me one? I told y'all once again, I'm going to tell you, if I'm going P-Train game the whole weekend, I told y'all, Ponce Train game, going to win the 19-year-old championship right here in New Orleans. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Tell me why. I'm telling you why. The defense. Norman has a great offense. Okay. Defense is good. I've seen some holes in it. I've seen a couple of holes, and you, you got a baby chief playing cornerback. If I go away from him, I might get some things popping. You got a Key Jones over there. I got a Key Jones over there, but I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right going his way. Okay. I'm all right going his way. I got Matthias Lee at middle linebacker. Is this confidence back up to 100% to where he's ready to come he's in? He's moving around well right now. He's moving around I heard around he had a good well. game last he's week. He's moving around. I heard he had a real good game last week. And you, mm-hmm. I don't know why you do this to yourself. Why? What you mean? Eisenhower, right? Yeah. Key Jones Jr., Matthias Lee, yeah. Tyron Wilson, yeah. Jr. Mm-hmm. What school these little dudes go they, to? They, they go to school I work at. So you looking at these dudes in their face right yeah. now and say, Ponte trying better than y'all. I mean, today don't when tell I, them. Don't tell me. I hit it. Y'all already know what it's hitting for because I seen y'all at work today and I told y'all what I was going to do. I'm going P-Train gang the whole weekend, 13, 14, 11, 12, 9, and 10. Ponte Train will beat Norman for the simple fact that Norman hasn't seen a defense like this yet. And I'm going to go up. I'm ready to give you my score, but I'm just saying they haven't seen a defense like this shit. You can say McCube, we had the right number McCube, one. I know you right? were. Okay. I know you were. We're talking about a more speedier version of a McCube's defense. A little bit faster at linebacker, a little bit faster at D lineman. I believe in Ponte Train system over there. I'm going with a 20 to 7, 20 to 8 ball game. 20 to 8. 20 to 8 ball game. Not too many points, not too many um, points being scored on Ponte Train defense. I got baby T them real frustrated. I'm I got them real frustrated. I can look at this game one or two ways. What's with that? All these players, mm-hmm. the Baby T's and the Kristen Pritchard, mm-hmm. the Keith Jones Jr. and the Kristen Doyle, mm-hmm. the Big B's and the Jet Throw, mm-hmm. they cross each other out. You going back with it again? It's going to be a shootout. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a defensive struggle. Okay. It's going to be an 8-6 game, mm-hmm. a 24-22 game. Okay. So it's going to be fireworks, all defense. Okay. Right? Okay. Coach Chucky, I respect that guy. Okay. Contra 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 Coach, Coach, yeah, he Coach knows Chucky. what he's doing he over do. there. Coach Chucky, what's he happening, do. What's brother? What's up, Coach? 
Coach T, mm-hmm. I got a high respect for that guy. Okay. Because he's more reserved and laid back he with is, when he, he gets the job done. He does, he does, so he it's does. like we said, like I said, 11 to 12 year olds, coach is going to play a big part. Coach is going to play a big part. You know what I'm going to say again to the Red Nation fans? Y'all gonna play the biggest part. They gonna be in the building. Y'all gonna play the biggest part. The I heard they was in the building last week. Yeah. Oh yeah. I heard you they was in the building. Yeah. I heard, they, I heard they was in the building. So you got Poncho trained twenty to eight. I got Poncho trained twenty to eight, baby. Straight up. So what I'm gonna have to do is Straight up. I'm gonna go on my draw again. I'm gonna I'm stay. Where I'm, you getting this work I'm from? I'm strapped. You spoke. Like Where I'm, you getting this work from? Like this. Poncho trained. Poncho trained. Really? Another show. The it's the Wildcat uh, Nation, baby. Uh, I'm going with Tyrone Wilson Jr. Uh, I'm going with Keith Jones Jr. I'm going with Matthias Lee, Jethro Moses, and Big 99, Big Kobe. Big Kobe. It's my new favorite player. I like Kobe. And guess what, Kobe? I got something special for you, dude. Al J's TV Award nominee. What? You coming to the award show, baby? What? Al just the award, award the last Lewis Award nominee. I'm going with the normal Wildcat to win the championship game. Give me a score. 24-22 in the shootout. 24-22. Now and that is say a one more nail bite. I gotta say something else. One o'clock, y'all. Nine o'clock. But well, nine morning. o'clock we gonna be out there. But this game is for one. Wildcat Nation, Red Nation, stand up. Calvin gonna love me for this. He gonna love me for this. He gotta love me for this. He is gonna love I want a limo ride. You want a limo ride? I want a ring. I want everything the winner of these teams getting. I want them. But the thing about it is, when Pontchartrain ain't getting cheap today, what you gonna go home with? Or you gonna be one of the people to go home without it? That's what it's gonna be. No, Either go home with it or go home without it. He gonna be going home without it. When these, he train game, when these dude. cameras off, I'm gonna be the same Don't dude to tell shot. this dude, I told you so. Donut shop. I told you so. P train game donut shop. They got glaze. They got they got caramel vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> P train game donut shop. Man, I ain't gonna get too much into it, but I'm gonna tell you straight up. That's my pick. I'm gonna punch train game the whole week, the whole the whole Saturday. Send me something. And I'm going with Algiers and Uptown. That's how you feel. That's how I'm coming, baby. That's how you feel. So we, he I'm got Norman in a, in a 24-22 game, a real good one. If it go down like that, coach, that's. That's history. That's gonna be it's that's history right there. But I'm gonna go with a twenty to eight. Normal, real frustrated. Punch train celebrating in the fourth quarter. I don't see it that way. That's what I'm gonna go. And before we get out of here, I just want to uh, send a special thanks for a lot of people that helped us put the Algiers TV Award Show on, Talk about it, which man. is going down November 29th, that's right. 2016, 1615 St. Philip Street at the Charbonnet Street. Family Home Center. I think I said that right. I think you said that right too, coach. Okay, but uh, first of all, I will see you full. Calvin Foy. We see you, baby. Gotta give him props. Good looking out, fam. Keep all them jokes to yourself, too. For real, man. Man. Y'all man. Them jokes you be going too hard bro. You play too much. Uh, Choice uh, Behavior and Wellness. Mm-hmm. Mike Tucker. Ashton Ryan from First NBC. Come on. Uh, Louis Charbonnet. Come on. This man right here. Come on. Really? Good looking and for out. And Louis Charbonnet, uh-huh. this is how much he did for that Mr. Football Award mm-hmm. is going to be the Louis Charbonnet Mr. Football Award. That's what's that. happening. Can't uh, that, baby. And Daphne Kimball, mm-hmm. we appreciate what you're doing for us so much around mm-hmm. here. All the groundwork, all the leg work, all the small things that play a big difference in what we're doing. You the man. That's right. Or the one man. Yeah. But Ms. <laughs> Daphne... You got anybody? Yeah, Coach, I definitely want you to shout out to the people that's helping us out. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Chef Lukey, man. Chef Lukey. Chef Lukey, man. Good looking out, man. I know that food going to be good for the um, LJ TV Awards show, man. That's going to be awesome. Shout out to Chef Lukey. Shout out to, to some of the people that we just don't, that we see on the regular, but just constantly encourage us, man. Yeah. April Simmons. April. Like, we see you, April. Hey, April. Good looking out, man. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Stephen George. Stephen George, you need them barbecue. Shout out to Stephen George. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be home. I ain't gonna last all day thing, right? I'm gonna be home. You know what I'm saying? Coach Fu, seeing the cutoff. Fu, say, is my man too. Always my looking man. out. You Fusey know what I'm saying? Out. So all the people that's out there supporting us and, and is helping us with any of the smallest things, we really see y'all. We really appreciate it. Lindell Davis. Oh, thank you. It's the wife. The wife. The wife. What are you talking about? See, Derek Anderson? Yeah. Shout out to Coach Derek Anderson. You hear me? We feel you, baby. You can fix that. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Nothing. Derek Anderson. Anderson. You said Anderson? Yeah. Let's we'll say it again. Shout out to Coach Henderson, right? 
Shout out to Coach Derek Henderson, man. Always looking out, helping us out, man. Giving us input. We see you over there, Coach Henderson. But we about to get off this thing. It's going to be a real good championship game. We're talking about Norman versus Pontchartrain. Make sure you at Joe Brown Stadium this Saturday, 9 o'clock, 8.30. We're going to be having We're the LJ TV. Live, man. LJ uh, game day. And then we got the Fan Fest. Shout out to Chevron. Shout out to Nard. We out this thing. LJ TV, baby. One love. We Wild out. Wildcat Whatever. Nation. Wildcat Nation. Call for backup. The train backup. coming. When we in the building, everybody start running. Call for backup. Yeah. The train. What you got? Juju on that beat, no, man. Juju no, on that beat. No, people do that. Juju on that beat. Running man on that beat.